What's going on everybody? Time for another project on the channel. I'm pretty excited about this one. I have been wanting to get another supermoto or mini bike for quite a while. I always kind of regretted selling mine. So I finally had the opportunity to pick up another supermoto and uh, the guys at SoCal Supermoto were selling off their fleet of Yamaha TTR 125Ls as they get newer ones. And I decided I wanted a crappy bike that honestly I could just take to the track didn't care what happened and uh, just learn because as much as I love my Triumph, uh, the reality is I'm not really gonna learn to be a better rider on it. Um, it's just too fast. I mean, that's the reality of it and that's just like cars. So the easy thing to do is to get a slow bike and learn and riding slow bikes fast is always fun. And this just seemed like the right one. The price was right and yeah, it's a little rough. Uh, that's kind of the thing and that's why I'm stoked to have this because it'll spawn a little bit of a video series as I go through it and have some fun with it. So let's take a look at the bike and I'll show you what my plans are. Okay, so this is it. This is the 2004 uh, Yamaha TTR 125L. Uh, this is number 104 um, and it is the L. So this means it's lacking the electric start. It's kick only. This is my first kickstart bike. So that's kind of fun. It's really cold blooded. So that's actually project number one is to get this uh, started sooner. But as you can see, uh, a little rough around the edges and that's okay. I'm glad it is because I, I plan on, you know, giving this my all and I'm sure it's gonna get some more scratches by the time I'm done with it. I think the fork seals are leaking. So we'll have to do that as well. And you know, other than that, it's really basic. There's not much to these bikes. I don't plan on going crazy, swapping like a YZ front end on it. Um, I think that that's a fool's errand. It's a slow kind of crappy bike anyways, and it, it's just gotta do one job for me, and that's just turn as many laps as possible. So let's pull this in the garage, and I think, I think we'll maybe tackle the curb. I don't know. I've never done a curb swap, so we're gonna learn together. There's something to be said for a bike that's so light you can just push it around like this. Um, TTR weighs maybe like 185 pounds, so it's pretty lightweight. Um, you can see the front forks, probably seen better days, and uh, it doesn't really want to start. Um, let's see if I can even kick it. Doubt it will. So that's problem number one. It should kick over after like three, four kicks from what I understand. In fact, if you know any better, let me know. Um, Cause like I said, this is my first kickstart bike. So I kind of don't know what I've been getting into. I've had carbureted bikes before, but this one is a uh, rough, shall we say. Oh yeah, one of the cool things, one of the really cool things about this bike actually is it came with a nice set of bar risers which as an adult sitting on this bike, it's nice because it gives you just a little bit more room and actually let me set it up and I'll show you how I fit. Um, it's pretty nice as an adult on it. I'm actually impressed. I mean, it, it's not bad at all. I mean, is there as much room as there was on my Supermoto, my DRC? No, but again, I don't care. For this, it's going to be perfect. Um, so yeah, so still little things, you know. We just got to go over it, bolt check it, not bolt check it before we go send it down a go kart track. And here is my sixty-five dollar parts haul for like stage one of getting this fixed. Fork seals and dust wipers. This is from a company called All Balls Racing. Um, that's an interesting name for a company, but yeah. So this was like 24 bucks for both. To go with that, I just got some Maxima fork oil. 10 weight is uh, just the standard for this. Uh, some people have said you can bump up the fork oil weight uh, to kind of help offset the extra weight uh, of an adult riding it, but I'm just gonna go with factory spec for now. Um, it's not like it's expensive or difficult to change this out. So I'll do a full video on rebuilding the forks uh, when I get to that. I'm gonna do that at my buddy's house. He's got the right tools for it. 
And last but not least in here, carburetor. Now, you might be asking yourself, why? Why get a complete carburetor and not just get a rebuild kit? And it's actually pretty simple. Um, it's actually, it's cheaper to get a new carb. So this carb was $24 on Amazon Prime. Um, yeah, so why bother taking it apart when we can just put this on? I think it's the way to go. Um, these supposedly work a little bit better too than uh, the factory ones, but you know, we'll see. And we might have to re-jet it. I, I just, I don't know. I know the TTR is jetted pretty lean from the factory and that's also why uh, they typically don't start well when they're cold, but um, yeah. So that's that. So we gotta figure out how to put this in there. Looks pretty simple, to be honest. So hopefully it is as simple as it looks. Okay, so this is the carb that is in question. Uh, this is the airbox boot that comes off pretty easy. Oh dear Lord, it's dirty. That explains a lot. I don't know if that's supposed to come off like that. That just came out. I hope I didn't break it. There's that. Yeah, oops. There's the curb. Take this out. This is your throttle cable, I think. Well, I think these are both related to the throttle cable. And then there's a feed from the pet cock on the other side there. So get this out and it should be good. Okay, update. Uh, the carb is swapped. It's really easy. Uh, you saw, it goes in, it comes out, it goes in. It's pretty simple. Um, but the problem, the problem, the choke cable is seized in the old carbs, so we don't have a choke cable. And uh, I almost just flew over the handlebars trying to bump start it down the hill. So uh, I don't know if we're gonna get any farther than this because I think I just need to get another choke cable, uh, but I can't really get it started. So uh, let's go take a look at that choke cable really quick and I'll show you what's going on. And then we'll just take a look at the bike and we'll wrap this up. Yeah, the choke cable in these, I guess, gets seized in. So uh, I'm going to let it soak with some WD-40. I don't have any PV blaster right now. Uh, try and get this out. But otherwise, I think we are uh, kind of done here. Let me see if we can go start it real quick. And we'll go from there. Took the side cover off just so you can see. Air box, tube, carb. No choke right now, but uh, yeah, it's definitely definitely not working. So I, I don't know what's going on here. Um, let's see if we can kick it. Yep. So I don't know. Success. Uh, I wish I had set up the camera as I rolled down the hill one last time, but uh, I got it running. So this is awesome. It's the first time it's actually been running and uh, yeah, and it's actually idling, which it wouldn't idle before. So I am pretty stoked with this. Yeah, it did not idle at all before. So I think uh, the problem is solved. Let's see if we can turn it off and start it again. that a project success this thing is going to be awesome all right i guess that wraps it up i'm stoked to end this on a high note i was actually pretty bummed out there for a minute and i thought that uh this wasn't actually gonna work so yeah if you like the video leave it a thumbs up till the next one